So we stand for the King James Bible. We believe that the King James Bible is the inspired, inerrant, infallible, and perfect Word of God. And one of the biggest arguments or complaints against our position, against the King James Bible, is that the King James Bible is too hard to read. That might be the number one complaint against our position. Those of us who insist that uh, the King James Bible is the only Bible that you need. You don't need any others. You know, like the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And so we believe the King James Bible is perfect. And so why mess with any of these other Bibles that uh, miss whole words and whole phrases and sometimes even whole verses of Scripture? OK, so we stick with the King James Bible unapologetically. But the complaint of many is yeah, but the King James Bible is just too hard to read. And I, I, I'll have to be honest with you. I cannot help but question the sincerity of that complaint when considering my own testimony. Uh, I got saved at a very early age. I was only 10 years old when I trusted Jesus Christ as my personal Savior. I grew up in a Catholic home. I went to Catholic school, okay? But the first time that I ever read a Bible. I'll never forget, I was a little boy, and uh, when we moved from New York City down to Beaufort, South Carolina, we moved into this trailer park, and the lady that lived in the trailer across the way from us was a godly, a godly old black lady by the name of Camille Perkins, precious, sweet sister in the Lord, and she was witnessing, she would witness to, my, to myself and to my uh, sister and my mother, and uh, it was her that I usually credit with leading me to the Lord Jesus Christ. There was a combination of things that led to my salvation, but she was very instrumental in my salvation. And I'll never forget when she was witnessing to me, she told me, she said, Manny, you need to get you a Bible and you need to read the Gospel of John chapter number three. So the first thing I did was I went down to the local elementary school, Broad, Broad River Elementary School right here in Beaufort, South Carolina. That's where I was going to school at the time. I was just a little boy. I went to the, to, to the library in that elementary school and found me a, a Bible. And it just so happened to be a King James Bible. Now, I didn't know anything about different versions of the Bible, but I did remember that one of my friends came to church uh, with a Bible that had one of those symbols that said placed by the Gideons. So that's what I looked for when, when looking for a Bible at the library. And I found a Bible that had that symbol placed by the Gideons. And back in those days, the only type of Bibles that the Gideons would distribute was the King James Bible. And so I'll never get, I got me a copy of that Bible. <clears throat> and, uh, I read that Bible as a 10-year-old little boy. And you know what? Just being a 10-year-old little boy, I was able to read John chapter 3 from a King James Bible, and I was able to understand it well enough to get under Holy Ghost conviction. God began to do a work in my life. And you know what? I got saved as a result of it. So my response to those that would say the King James Bible is too hard to read my response is this. It wasn't too hard for me as a 10-year-old little boy to read it and to understand it well enough to get saved by the grace of God. The Bible changed my life, and I was just a 10-year-old little boy. I never went to seminary. I never, I, I, I was in elementary school, and it wasn't too hard for me to understand, at least not enough that I couldn't get saved. I was born again by the Spirit of God after reading the Bible in John chapter 3, from a King James Bible. I'll never forget right after I got saved. I was so excited about what the Lord did in my life. I went to the children's church preacher and I asked the brother, hey, can I uh, read John chapter three in front of the children's church? And he was so kind to let me do that. And I read John chapter three. And I was just 10 years old reading from a King James Bible. And so uh, I, I, I cannot help but question the sincerity of those that say we need to get another Bible because it's too hard to read. I don't think I'm a genius, and yet it wasn't hard enough for me to read and then get saved as a result of it. 
And so not only that, my children have grown up with a King James Bible. Ever since they were able to read, we've been reading a King James Bible together in our family devotions ever since all four of my children first learned to read. And to this day, they're still reading from a King James Bible. And you know what? They're able to understand what the Bible has to say. They're, they're homeschool kids. They grow up in a Christian home. We have family devotions. They read their Bible and my children can understand it. And so I really question the validity of this complaint that the King James Bible is too hard to read. And here's something else that you should consider. You know, some things are not supposed to be easy to read anyways. Some things require study. That's why Paul the Apostle said in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. There are going to be things in the Bible that is not going to be so easy to understand. You're not going to gain an understanding of it from a, the first reading or maybe even the, or not even the second or third try. It's going to require for you to dig a little deeper and to do some studying. And you know what? That's why the Bible commands us in 2 Timothy 2.15 to study. The problem is we live in a very lazy generation, okay? And so folks have become so lazy, uh, they want everything to be dumbed down for them. They want to bring God down to their level. No, sir. Uh, the Bible says to study. And, you know, uh, it's so it's it's such a hypocritical argument because anyone that's ever been to college, I went to the University of South Carolina uh, and I've been to Bible Institute. And you know what? When they hand out those those college textbooks that are so expensive. Have you ever read a college textbook on any subject? Guess what? <laughs> They're not the easiest things to read. You may have to read some of those chapters that they'll assign to you several times before you gain any level of understanding. Can you imagine if you were to go to the college professor and say, hey, listen, I need a different version of this college textbook. Guess what? There probably is not going to be another version of that textbook. They're going to tell you, no, you go right back to your desk and you reread it or go home and, and you, you put your nose in that book and reread it however many times you need and study that thing out. I mean, they're going to expect you to be a diligent student, not to be lazy, okay? And so I just think that a lot of these complaints nowadays of the King James Bible being too hard to read is just an excuse for laziness, is what I believe. As a matter of fact, something else to consider is this. Not only are there going to be things in the Bible that require study, there are, going to be, there are going to be some things in the Bible that require spiritual discernment. Here's the thing. You can d try to dumb down the Bible all you want to. Make it as easy as, as you possibly can. And you know what? If you're not saved, you don't have the Holy Spirit of God within you. And if you don't have the Holy Spirit of God within you to lead you, and to guide you and to give you the spiritual discernment that only the Holy Spirit can give to open up your eyes of understanding and to give you enlightenment. I don't care if you put the Bible on a first grade reading level. I don't care if you if every word in, in your version of the Bible has only one or two syllables at the most. You know what? There are certain things in this Bible that you are never going to get unless the Holy Spirit reveals it to your heart and opens up your eyes of understanding. And so, you know what? I just, I just think that it's, it's unwarranted, this complaint that the King James Bible is too hard to read. Who said it was supposed to be easy to begin with? Now, don't get me wrong. Again, going back to my first point, there's enough material in the Bible for you to understand that you can even be a 10-year-old little boy in elementary school and understand enough of it to, to, for the Holy Spirit to do a mighty work in your heart and for you to be born again. That's what happened in my life. And so here's something else to, uh, to consider. Uh, this complaint about the King James Bible is too hard to read. And so did we really need, however, over 200 versions of the Bible in English? 
So you mean to say, here's what I'm getting at. You mean to say after 200 tries, it's still too hard? Do you know how much money is required to make Bibles? They're not cheap. They're not inexpensive. It costs a lot of money to produce Bibles. And you mean to say after 200 and something tries, the Bible is still too hard? How many more tries do you need to finally get it on the level where everyone can understand it? I'm here to tell you, you're never going to get the Bible on the level, on, on a certain level where everyone is going to be able to understand everything in that book. Because first of all, some things require study. And second of all, some things are going to require spiritual discernment. There are certain things in the Bible you're never going to get unless the Holy Spirit reveals it to you. Okay. And so uh, I just think that it's a very poor excuse for all the money that has been wasted to produce over 200 versions of the Bible in English, especially when considering that right now, as we speak, there are currently over 3000 languages all throughout the globe in which they don't have not one verse of scripture translated in their language. Three, over 3,000 languages on the earth don't have one verse of scripture. And meanwhile, we're wasting millions and millions of dollars to produce a bunch of Bibles that we don't even need. How about instead of uh, producing a new Bible every other year, I just found out that there was a new Bible that was put out by the Calvinist crowd uh, out in California somewhere uh, just last year, I believe it was, or maybe it was earlier this year. I mean, is that really necessary? Meanwhile, over 3,000 groups of people around the world don't have, they don't have any verse of scripture. They don't even have a bad version. So uh, like the old saying goes, if it ain't broke, quit trying to fix it. The King James Bible is the perfect word of God. We don't need 200 other versions to try to get it. No, what we need is to quit being lazy. And also what we need is to make sure that we've been saved by the grace of God so that the Holy Spirit will live in our hearts and, and, uh, and be there to guide us and to direct us and to open up our eyes of understanding so that we can get the, uh, what the Lord has in store for us from the word of God. You're only going to get it through the Holy Spirit. I don't think we need all these different versions of the Bible. And I don't believe the King James Bible is too hard to read. God bless you.